welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a kind of random video. I don't really talk about hair on my channel very often, but I found some really cool products, uh, mostly from Sephora, and I thought I would share them with you guys in case you were looking for some awesome hair products as well. Now, before we continue on with the video, I just have a few reminders. My name is Karen. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe down below. I do upload every other day so you do get quite a bit of content from me. Um, so I hope you will consider subscribing. Second thing is I am selling some makeup on my Poshmark. The link is in the description box. So if you guys are interested in purchasing some of my gently used makeup, definitely go ahead and check out my Poshmark link below. Also, I do have a tiny giveaway going on in the month of January. I'm giving away the first Tarte Clay Play Palette. So if you guys are interested in getting your hands on that one, definitely go ahead and check the description box as well. All that information is gonna be down below. Now, without further blabbering, let's get into some of my hair care favorites. Now guys, as I was saying, I'm definitely not a hair person by any means. I always had really short hair growing up. My mom always kept it in like a really short bob because I had like dead straight hair as a kid. Over time, it's just gotten like wavier and this is basically like the texture of my natural hair. Um, I haven't done anything to it so I was kind of lazy today and I decided to start fl filming and it's like later in the evening so I was like Ugh, I really don't want to heat style it but so I just did like a slick side swept ponytail this is one of the looks I rock at home usually but I thought you guys would be okay with that so mostly my hair is dry I guess so it gets really oily really fast and I usually prefer not to have to wash it every day, so I use a lot of products to try and lengthen um, the time in between washes. So really quick, I don't know where to start, so let's just start off with like the hair care process and what I wash my hair with. So the first item is this L'Oreal Hair Experts Extraordinary Clay Clay Mask. This is a pre-shampoo treatment for oily roots. Now I was really excited because I saw the PR packages go out for this shampoo and I got really really excited because it's being marketed as the shampoo for oily hair. Now I feel like a lot of shampoos say hey um, we're gonna hydrate your hair, this is for damaged hair, blah 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 and I have never ever really found a product that's marketed for really oily hair. So. I was so excited when I saw PR packages go out for this guy and I was so excited to get my hands on it. So I do have the mask and I don't use it like every time I wash my hair but uh, I did use it quite a bit. As you can see I'm almost done with it and it honestly works. The first time I used it, it made my hair so like oil free that I could literally go like a week without washing my hair. Now my hair has definitely gotten used to it as well so I try to like space it out so I don't like abuse it and abuse my hair but if you guys have really really oily roots I would 100% recommend trying that out. And with that they also came out with a shampoo and conditioner. I'm almost done with these bottles. They're really lightweight and they're kind of gross because they were actually in my shower. But these basically are also the Extraordinary Clay Formula. And it says, it's formulated by hair experts at L'Oreal Paris. Our silicone-free extraordinary clay system instantly purifies oily roots and hydrates dry, hydrates dry links without weighing down for beautifully fresh flowing hair from root to tip. See, that's the thing. I feel like a lot of shampoos that say they're going to hydrate, hydrated so much to the point where my hair is greasy like that same day. So I really can't use super, super hydrating shampoos. Which is kind of strange, but that's just what I've noticed that works for me. Another thing I am trying to do too is find more shampoos that I can incorporate so that my hair doesn't get used to that particular shampoo. So another shampoo I did just recently purchase is this one by Verb. And this is the Verb Ghost Shampoo and it says weightless color safe plus cleanse. This is the 12 fluid ounce bottles. I bought the shampoo and the conditioner. And on the back here it says no parabens, no glutens, no sulfates. Verb Go Shampoo weightlessly conditions fine hair, protects color, and leaves hair tangle free. Moringa oil infused the hair shaft 
with essential nutrients that naturally smooth frizz and promote radiant shine for all hair types. So I really like this because I actually initially purchased the Verb Ghost Oil and you guys, I was looking for an oil because I was using coconut oil on my hair. I was trying to do that once a week, usually on a Saturday I would just heat up a little bit of coconut oil and put it in my roots and like massage it and try to keep it like the whole day and then just wash my hair in the evening or on Sunday morning. I felt like that was really helping like hydrate my hair. So I also thought it would be a smart idea to find something other than like kitchen grade coconut oil. So I did go with this ghost hair oil and what I did realize is it basically isn't like a hair oil that nourishes your hair it's more of like a hair smoother which i would never ever ever recommend putting oil in already greasy hair but this stuff i mean it lives up to the name ghost oil because once i put it in my hair i can see it makes my hair shinier and it tames it but if you like really touch my hair you wouldn't feel like i have oil in it like i put some on today to like slick my hair back and this is amazing and it's only like 16 bucks so it says verb ghost oil is a vanishing daily restorative oil that revitalizes hair from roots to ends this integrated moringa oil blend enriches a hair shaft that essentially nutrients that naturally smooth frizz and promotes radiant shine for all hair types so if you have really dry hair if you have really oily hair if you just want to tame the frizz I would 100% recommend this. I usually run this through my hair after I've heat styled it and stuff like that. So I really, really enjoy this product. And so that's why I decided to try the shampoo and the conditioner as well. Just because the name Ghost Oil suggests that it doesn't hang around in your hair and weigh down. And I've only used this a couple of times, but so far I'm really enjoying this combination. They also have a, um, a sea salt line it's like the green bottle so I really want to try that and the reason I ended up really buying the shampoo and conditioner I think I talked about this maybe in a video or on snapchat when me and my friend went on our little road trip when she was moving to California we drove through Colorado and we actually ended up meeting this lady in a town called Frisco Colorado where we had had car trouble and then we ended up in a coffee shop and we ended up talking to this hairstylist and we ended up talking about verb and she was saying like in all her time as a hairstylist, she had never seen salon grade products being sold at the price point Verb is sold at. She said it's very inexpensive and she loves using it in her salon, which totally motivated me to hop on the Sephora website and try it out for myself. It's so nice because I feel like I need hair people to give me advice because like, I don't go to a doctor and expect myself to tell the doctor like how to treat the problem. I expect the doctor to tell me how to treat the problem. And I feel like growing up in Sri Lanka, that's kind of how what I was used to with hairstylists. You know, they give you really good advice on how to take care of your hair. And it was really, really easy. But here in the States, I feel like hairstylists almost expect to, you to tell them what to do. And I find that really, really frustrating. Like I tell people all the time, I don't think there's a haircut that I've ever gotten that has been exactly what I wanted. It just feels like, I don't know like how people are being trained here because obviously I never went to hair school and it might just be like where I live in Fargo. Anyway, if you guys have any hairstylist recommendations for the Fargo area, definitely let me know because I'm sure there's people that watch me from North Dakota that want to hear your suggestions and stuff like that. So it's always fun when we talk in the comments. So let me know if you guys have any amazing stylists in the area. Um, so next I want to talk about some of the tools I use. Nothing fancy. I did pick this up from the dry bar during um, one of those like Sephora sales and it's really dirty. I'm so sorry. But this is definitely not something that you have to go out and buy. It's a $16 hairbrush and it says like it's like super good at like detangling and stuff like that but honestly I have one of these and then I have some brushes I picked up from Forever 21 and those ones work just as good as well. I don't know why there's so much lint in my hair. Does anyone else have this happen to them? I feel like I'm the only person that has this much lint in their hairbrush so that's just my life, my reality. I have linty hair apparently because all my hairbrushes kind of look like this and it's kind of disgusting. But yeah, I really like this. This is called the Lemon Drop from the brand Dry Bar. And I think pretty much all these products you can find at Sephora, obviously except the drugstore ones. Everything else you can find at Sephora. So 
For the longest time, I was using a drugstore blow dryer, and then from drugstore, I ended up um, getting a hair set, a t hair tool set from uh, Bellamy, I believe. Um, because was it Bellamy? Yeah, Bellamy, because Nicole Guerrero did a collab with them, and I can, I think I reviewed that product on my channel so i'll link that video if you guys want to laugh really hard i'm sure it's really funny um and then i've been using that blow dryer and then for some reason i'll just send me a 20 percent off coupon and i thought i'd treat myself to the buttercup blow dryer this is by the brand dry bar now if you guys know dry bar has their own like stores that do blowouts and stuff like that and so this is i think a very high-end kind of blow dryer it's obviously not as expensive as the Dyson one um, that looks like their fans except it's like a smaller version um, but this is still I think like $199 almost $200 so that's why I used I bought it when I had an Ulta coupon and I really like it it has different heat settings it dries my hair pretty fast I mean it's not something I think you need to like go get right now but if you're in the mood to splurge on a nice blow dryer I think this one is cool and it has a pretty long cord which I haven't even like taken out of the packaging yet because it's my bathroom I don't need a very long cord and then my other dry bar product and this is my favorite thing from the dry bar um, what is this called all their products have really fun names um, is this the bender I can't remember right now but this is their straightener I don't think they have any other ones this has a really long cord of course mine is tangled but what I love about this is it has a memory setting so once you set it you can like save your heat level I don't really do that it also has a swivel cord which is really nice and I think this heats up really really fast and does such a great job of straightening my hair so I really really enjoy the dry bar straightener if you guys are looking for a good recommendation I would totally recommend checking it out plus again I picked this up uh, actually this one is from the Nordstrom sale because during their anniversary sale they had like a set that you could get and I'm going to show you some of the products that were included in the set um, but I really like this and don't regret purchasing it and if you can't get it at Nordstrom definitely wait for an Ulta 20% off coupon because they also carry dry bar in Ulta stores and that's an awesome way to save some money purchasing it now another product you can also find I think this is Sephora I don't know if Ulta sells T3 they might um, but I totally picked this up on a whim because T3 was doing a sale during Black Friday and I've seen so many Instagrammers and YouTubers talk about T3 and I was like this is a fucking scam because those Bellamy hair tools were okay but they weren't like amazing this is pretty expensive this barrel is um interchangeable so they have tons of different barrels they have the ones without the clamps they have just the regular barrel I don't even know if it's called a barrel whatever I'm so bad at hair uh, but from the first time I used this guy I was in love it curls my hair like no other any of my newer videos if I have curly hair it was curled using this barrel I did go for the 1.25 inch um, barrel because my hair is pretty thick and I'm trying to grow it out so I thought if I went for like a one inch it might be too small and then I don't know if they have any bigger sizes so I, I really really thought really hard about which one to get and then I wasn't sure if I wanted like one without a barrel but I actually really like the barrel I've gotten a lot better at curling my hair since I picked this guy up and, and so if you are really bad at curling your hair like I am I would honestly recommend this guy because it is honestly a game changer plus if I decide to go shorter I can just get the attachment I'm not going to try and remove this because I definitely don't want to break this um, but yeah I got a pretty good deal on these I think these are in like the hundred and sixty dollar range don't quote me I'll try and remember to link everything down below in case you guys are curious to pick any of this up but those are my three go-to hair tools for blow drying straightening and curling so I thought you guys might be interested in knowing that in this hair video and now on to some of the products I like to use in my hair I already talked about the ghost oil now some of these were just included as freebies in the kit when I got my hair straightener but I have been putting them to use I'm not the kind of girl that has like 800 hair products but now all of a sudden I've been so curious to get better at loving my hair and 
doing something with myself so this was one of the stuff that was included in the kit and this is the chaser shine cream by the dry bar this is just 50 ml and basically this says it finishes hair with a luminous shine and soft definition how to serve work a small dollop through damp hair or dry hair avoiding the roots use light or fine comb so I use this in my hair and I don't see it being like extremely like shinier than it is but I also have really dark hair so I feel like it's not that hard to make my hair look shiny okay so the next item that I have used for a really really long time and been through a few different ones is the sexy hair 450 blowout this is a seven shine one percent hold and it's a heat defense blowout spray so I just basically use this at a, as a heat defense and I used to pick this up at the salon that I used to get my hair done at and basically you can spray this on the damp hair and blow dry with your favorite brush for smooth shiny and frizz free hair so I also use this actually when I straighten so never bothered to read that it needed to go on damp hair I heard from my stylist that I could just use this as heat protection so that's what I've been doing with it but I really like that stuff and from the tag here it says it's about 20 bucks so usually I try to grab them on sale when they're doing some kind of special um, but that stuff is pretty good now a new heat defense spray that I have been trying out is this memory mist by way and this is Jen Atkins line and if you don't know who Jen Atkins is she does I think a lot of celebrity hair I just off the top of my head um, I know she does the Kardashians hair so basically this is a memory mist and it says for use before you style this multitasking priming spray adds heat protection shine and long-lasting memory to any look curls and blowouts included using a one-of-a-kind formula this lightweight lightweight spray memorizes your hair shape and texture until your next shampoo now I definitely don't think you can use this in instead of a hairspray um, but I just like it as a memory mist it uh, smells really good I really like it as a heat protector it smells really good and it's kind of a fun product because it does feel a little bit more luxurious and stuff like that I can't swear by the fact that it's gonna hold my curl because honestly I can't get anything to hold my curl as soon as I sleep on my hair it just turns into like a tangly mess I have a friend her hair her second day third hair third day curls look amazing and mine literally like I need to start from the beginning so if I curl my hair I have to wash it if I want to curl it again because it just oh my gosh it like goes in all different directions I hate that about my hair if you guys know some tips and tricks on how I can do some do something about that other than washing my hair every day I would be super interested in hearing your thoughts because like I said I'm pretty bad at hair these are just some of the products I use and I wanted to share with you guys in case anyone was looking for some good hair product recommendations so since we're talking about whey I'm going to talk about the only other whey product I have this is the texturizing hairspray and I really like this because it doesn't make my hair crunchy and on the back it says like dry, dry shampoo and hairspray had a baby this ultra lightweight hairspray that builds incredible volume and texture packed with volcanic minerals to absorb oil and refresh hair so I don't like hairspray because it crunches up your hair and then you have to wash it and like I said I like to avoid washing my hair um, for a couple of days so I'm really picky but I've really been enjoying this hairspray and you can pick this up at Sephora as well it's 4.6 ounces and the memory mist is also 4.4 ounces so a little bit of a difference there but those are the only two way products I have in my little hair care station and I really like them um, the other thing that is a favorite of mine is the dry bar detox dry shampoo I got this in a little Sephora set and I really 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 liked this dry shampoo so of course I picked up the full size the only thing is this has a pretty big white cast I know they have like a brown one and stuff I haven't gotten around to it to be honest I feel like the dry shampoo trend came and went for me it's not a product I use every single time by any means to lengthen my the life of my hair I feel like my hair almost gets oilier faster when I use dry shampoo so I'm a little bit weary of dry shampoo just in general but this one I feel like has worked the best and it says it absorbs oils and leaves hair feeling fresh and clean between washes and you get 3.5 ounces of this stuff 
and basically you're supposed to shake extremely well and spray four to six inches from the scalp allowing to dry gently rub in vigorously for darker hair and yeah it's it's a good dry shampoo it's one of my favorites and I've seen a lot of people on YouTube talk about it being their favorites as well so then when they came out with a whipped dry shampoo foam I was really really curious so I did pick this up again I don't use this very often either but it says ultra light foam absorbs oil and dries instantly leaving hair bouncy and refreshed so yeah just two good you know shampoo dry shampoo recommendations from the dry bar and then these two products I believe came with hair straightener I got from Nordstrom. So I got their sparkling soda, which is their shine mist. And this says it instantly creates lightweight hair. This instantly creates a lightweight high gloss finish and tames frizzes and flyaways. So I like to spray this into my hair as well. And then the other one is a triple sec three in one. I know my hairdresser told me she really likes this as well. And this is basically a texturizing spray from the dry bar texturizes amplifies refreshes and creates tussled sexy texture adds volume and fullness absorbs oil and refreshes hair so a lot of these products kind of do the same thing I don't know that you need to go ahead and get them all like I said I picked these up in bits and pieces some of them just came with my hair uh, hair straightener so it's not stuff I really bought for myself but I just wanted to let you guys know kind of the stuff I use in my hair and then another brand that is sold at Sephora that this actually I really really like and I know what to do with this. This is the IGK Pre-Party Hair Strobing Glitter Spray. And this is so fun because especially with the holidays and like my birthday and stuff and New Year's, uh, basically what it is, it's a glitter hair spray. It's not really, a, it's not, it doesn't make your hair crunchy, but it deposits a lot of sparkle in your hair. So it's not like throwing glitter just in your hair so it like sticks to your scalp. It does have like aerosol in it so it like flutters out of the can and it's very very fun. I think this is just such a fun addition to any girl's hair care and especially if you like to go out a lot or you go to a lot of fun events. I think you'll really really enjoy this hair strobing glitter spray. So on the back it says it's vegan, cruelty and gluten free, UV protection, um, petroleum and mineral oil free, paraben and sulfate free. Inspired by highlighters for your face, this strobing glitter spray Gives hair a party ready radiance by capturing and diffusing light for a soft luminous effect day or night. This universally flattering shade contains moonstone extract and ultra fine milk glitter particles that create the ultimate glimmer as soon as it's applied. Now the only thing I do wish is this one is silver. I wish they made one that has gold sparkles. I think that would be really fun and they should do some other colors. So hopefully we'll see that from IGK soon. Okay guys, so I just wanted to show you again some of the things I use in my hair and just, you know, talk about them in case you guys were looking for some product recommendations. I do hope you enjoyed this video and it was somewhat useful and entertaining. Like I said, I'm not a hair care expert by any means, so if you guys have any tips and tricks for me, if you guys are professional hairdressers, I would totally appreciate any recommendations you guys can give me. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.